ಹಿಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೋಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನರಿಷ್ಠನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದೂ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಅಗ್ನೇ ನಯ ಸುಪಥಾರಾಯ ಅಸ್ಮನ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾನಿ ದೇವಭಯುನಾ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಯುಜೋಧ್ಯಸ್ಮಜ್ಜುಹುರಾಣ ಮೇನೋ ಭೋಸ್ತೇ ನಮ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ವಿಧೇಮ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವರ್ಚಸಿ ಜಾಯತ ಆ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೇ ರಾಜನ್ಯ ಶೂರಶಭ್ಯೋ ಅತಿ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಮಹಾರಥೋ ಜಾಯತ ದೋಗ್ರೀನ್ ಧೇನುರ್ವೋಡಾನ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ ಆಸುಸಪ್ತಿ ಪುರಂಧಿಷಾ ಜಿಷ್ಣಾರತೆಷ್ಟ ಸಭೆಯೋ ಯುವ ಅಸ್ಯಜಮಾನಸ ವೀರೋ ಜಾಯತ ನಿಕಾಮೆ ನಿಕಾಮೇನ ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯೋ ನ ವರ್ಷತು ಫಲವತ್ಯೋ ನ ಓಷಧಯ ಪಚ್ಯಂತ ಯೋಗಕ್ಷೇಮೋ ನ ಕಲ್ಪೇತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಆಪ್ಯಾಯಂತ ಮಮಾಂಗಾನಿ ವಾಕ್ಪ್ರಾಣಚಕ್ಷು ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಥಾಫಲಮಿಂದ್ರಿಯಾ ಚರ್ವಾಣಿ ಸರ್ವೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೋಪನಿಷದ ಮಾಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕುರಿಯಾ ಮಾಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕರೋತು ಅನಿರಾಕರಣಮಸ್ತು ನಿರಾಕರಣ ಮೇ ಅಸ್ತು ತದಾತ್ಮನಿ ನಿರತೇಜ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಧರ್ಮ ತೇ ಮಯಿ ಸಂತು ತೇ ಮಯಿ ಸಂತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಧ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿಧ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುಧಜ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಏನು ಇವರು ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ನವಗ್ರಹ ಸೂಕ್ತ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಈಚ್ ಓಂ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಸೋಮಾಯ ಮಂಗಳಾಯ ಬುಧಾ ಚ ಗುರುಶುಕ್ರಶಿನಿಭ್ಯಶ್ಚರಾಹವೇ ಕೇತವೇ ನಮಃ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಂ ಆಸತ್ಯನ ರಜಸವರ್ತಮನೋ ನಿವೇಶಯನ್ನೃತ ಮತ್ಯಂಚ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಯನ ಸವಿಥಾರಥೇನಾೇವೋ ಯಾತಿ ಭುವನ ವಿಪಶ್ಯನ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಧೋತ ಮೃಣೀಮಹೇವೋತಾರ ವಿಶ್ವೇಧಶನ್ ಅಸ್ಯಜ್ಞಸ್ಯ ಸುಕೃತ ಏಷಾಮೀಶೆ ಪಶುಪತಿ ಪಶೂನ ಚತುಸ್ಪದ ಮುಚ್ಚಿಪದ ನಿಷ್ಕ್ರೀತೋಯಂ ಯಜ್ಞಿಯಂ ಭಾಗಮೇತು ರಾಯಸ್ಪೂಷಾ ಯಜಮಾನಸ್ಯ ಸಂತ ಕದ್ರುದ್ರಾಯ ಪ್ರಚೇತಸೆ ಮೇ ದುಷ್ಟಮಾಯತವ್ಯಸೆ ಓಚೇಮ ಶಂತಮಖಂ ಹೃದಯ ಓಂ ಅಧಿದೇವತ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಧಿದೇವತ ಸಹಿತಾಯ ಆಧಿತ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅವರ್ Purushottam has not come to recite that and so we go to the introductory portion of the program today because, you know, Mr. Gajanana Bhatt, we don't need any introduction to him, but still we have to introduce that he is basically a chartered accountant and, uh, but he has also taken importance for the Vedic study. for astrology study and he is taking classes on astrology and in our kendra also he has been a faculty uh, teaching uh, taking classes on astrology and uh, so he is going to talk about the samskaras most important topic that everybody must be knowing 
what is samskara because janmana jayate sudraha samskara dvijavutsyate he is manu all people however they are born they are all sudras means not knowing anything they have got to add knowledge add experience and work for spirituality and they reach up the goals of uh, human life the birth etc so that dvija one has to become then we have got the layers so the dvija samskara rather upanayanam uh, is the one after which we have got so many other samskaras to follow actually there are 16 samskaras and more samskaras but very popularly we have got 16 samskaras and today uh, sam 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 karu samyak karoti ti samskaraha samskaram that is we are not samyak we have when we learn something we get educated we develop wisdom we develop skills in our uh, achara anu, and anushthana and also in our own thing that is what is called samskara a culture in english they say culture civilization but there are so many civilizations which have come and disappeared but culture is important the vedic culture the vedic wisdom vedic religion is uh, the constant uh, torch light to show pathways in all respects to all people born in this world and rishis are important for that so now the samskaras also belong to the department of the astrology where the rishis are there where the grahas are there that is muhurta is important for doing any samskara for fixing the muhurta the grahas also i got to be studied the horoscope must also be taken base and so on there is so much of process before we think of having a samskara ceremony being conducted therefore for our, for that also the navagrahas are important because they rule the life course of all the people in the world so that's why you know, surya bhagavan he is top he is the grahadipati nakshatra adipati and all that he has come and he has taken the simha rasi among in the zodiac sign as his house and from there he will administer everybody and therefore we always may <clears throat> whenever we think of the samskaras we expect ye graha subhasthane susthita tesham grahanam natyanta subha bala vaptyartham ye graha subhe tarasthane susthita tesham grahanam natyanta anukulyata siddhyartham this is the target so those planets which are in subhasthana subhasthanas they should enjoy uh, the enhancement of subha phalam and those people who are not in subha sthanas and to them some anukula has anukulyata should be happen so that the there is a balance stricken by the planets uh, for the run of life and happiness and uh, health wealth prosperity and what not more because the human birth is very important and they have got lot of work and lot of achievements lot of uh, distinctions and lot of all that so today we are going to have uh, in brief or the topic is uh, uh, a bird's eye view so a bird will be flying and it will have a complete uh, outlook or the vision of the entire area so there are 16 important samskaras and which uh, our and according to sanatana dharma also is important because samskara sanatana dharma bird savyu all these are very powerful words and has got lot of there are all concepts and today not my talking much about uh, gajanana bhatt because he is a gajanana gajananam bhuta ganadhi sevitam kapitha jambu phalasara bhakshitam umasutam namami vigneshwaram so we make namaskar to gaja because he is a uma suta uma is mahadevi shakti swarupini and uh, so i request uh, gajanana but afterwards we have got uh, um, jayanti sahu from delhi university and also purushottam and other people to give vote of thanks and gopinath 
So with that, we'll go with our program. So when uh, the other persons who participate are coming, to all the, of them welcome and to welcome to everybody. So welcome to Dr. Gajaranabhat. Welcome, sir. Start, Sri Ram. Thank you, sir. Shri Urubhyo Namaha. Shri Ganesha Namaha. Very good morning for all the participants of Other Than India. And very good evening to my dear Indians here. See, I take this opportunity to thank my beloved Guru, Dr. C.L. Prabhakar, for the wonderful opportunity given especially about this, to speak about the samskaras. See, beautiful, I don't know whether it is uh, how he has correlated particularly this day. As you know, this Shri Krodhi Rama Samasarasya Dekshinayane Sharadrutu Ashyojamase Krishna Pakche Dashamyam Tithau Adya Makana Kshatre. Beautiful. Makana Kshatra relates to Pitru. It is a Pitru in a Nakshatra. This is especially Pitru Nakshatra. And this Ravi Vara also belongs to father. Ravi belongs to father. Ravi denotes father, actually. So how beautifully it has been correlated, this Sanskara. I said, actually, he has told me to talk about the Sanskaras. Want to do one Sanskara, Sanskara or to speak about one Sanskara. It may take minimum, small, small Sanskaras, minimum half a day. And especially to speak about Bigger samskaras like Upanayana, Vivaha, Antyeshti, it may be two to three days or two to three uh, particular hours. I said that is the reason only birds I view, I will give little picture about this. I cannot or I am not able to speak everything about this whole samskara at one shot. It is not possible. My guru knows. Also, I take this opportunity to thank Dr. Anjaneja, my Guru Patne, and all you participants. Thank you. Let me start. Veda Kilo Dharma Molam. Veda is the backbone, as you know, and it is everything to our Sanatana Dharma. What not? Everything. It is for good culture and for a good life, samskara. How, how it is? How is the fire in Homakunda blows and shines more and more with every ahuti of ghee? Very important. Every ahuti of ghee, just like those of human beings, refining and polishing the life in order to shine. That is samskara. Refining and polishing, very important. So how you polish or refine a metal, for example, gold, like that it is. So we have to refine and polish the light. So now question it comes, how to live and lead a better life? So everybody actually, they think about, yes, I should live a good life. How it is? What way it comes? Question it comes. The theory differs from India and Indians, that of with other countries, especially with the Westerners. The pyramid is not only restricted from birth to death with Indians, just it is not birth and death. <clears throat> only it is not restricted to these two words. It is beyond our death, beyond our death and earlier to our birth. So many births, so many deaths. Very important. The angle of thinking is different when you compare Indians with others. We, the Indians, believe in karma. Now that karma theory comes, especially. See, when a baby takes a birth, everybody meet 
दैवज्ञा और एस्ट्रोलॉजर टू चार्ट ऑफ हॉरोस्कोप बेस्ड ऑन बर्थ ओके सो वी बिलीव हियर इंडियंस अमृतस्य पुत्र इंडियंस बिलीव इन मेनी जन्मास मेनी बर्थ्स इट इज नॉट रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू वन बर्थ और वन डेथ This is called doctrine of karma. Karma theory. This is a wheel or cycle of birth and death. That is what Adi Guru Shankara Acharya said. Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. See, I can't speak about now only just our name. This is what is a samskara or upasamskaras. What it has been told in the sutras or smritis. It's of no use unless. i say something about what exactly samskara then only you can understand next that the second actually part is about samskara first part is what exactly samskara then second part is how many samskaras what is samskara now nishekaadi smashananto nishekaadi smashananto whatever said in veda same has been molded up in manusmriti that is what grain set bragumuni set samyak krutah samskarah samyak karanam it is refinement this is also called as manovijnana by a by our latest generation it is manovijnana yes mind this one it has to be set for everybody ultimately manas karaka manas this one chandra manaso jatah chakshu suryo ajayata you know so once mind is refreshed or fresh everything will be good in that way we have to mold up so molding of atma with deha body this is very important samskrata uh, samskara molding of atma with deha body it starts from garbhadana and ends up with antyeshti that means earlier to birth garbhadana is earlier to our birth or baby's birth and from nishika conception this is garbhadana to death that is after death that means for samskara actually for a baby life will not be there at the time of garbhadana parents they have to give life and for grown up old man or woman for antyeshti he or she she will not be there it's a beautiful this one then strange thing is here just you can imagine garbhadana in common word for example or jokely we can say dr my guru it is a just enjoyment to parents in common word am i right enjoyment to garbhadana enjoyment to parents whereas or likewise antyeshti is misery to next generations what a beautiful combination here so enjoyment to misery so that is that is called actually in our veda itself we see said actually when baby takes a birth it is karma and actually we should not enjoy and when actually atma leaves deha at that time we should laugh and we should enjoy that means all this karma moksha for this karma for this atma moksha this atma there is moksha theory anyway dr guru in front of him i am nothing i am nothing zero i can't explain all those things now samskara is called as sacraments sacrifices and rituals that serve as a rites of passage it shows various stages of life and a very wide path from pre birth to post birth that is the reason pre birth to post birth very important as my guru said janmana jayate shudra samskara vidya uchyate veda says without samskara man will become imbalanced in life 
without any control and self discipline before proceeding to shodasha samskaras we should try to understand what exactly or what is sutras grahya sutras <coughs> type of samskaras several sutrakaras history of samskara without knowing all this suddenly if i jump into this one the naming of this one so shodasha samskara it's of no use let us little bit study or glance about this briefly one by one sutras mainly there are three types sutras one is shravata sutras secondly grihya sutras thirdly dharma sutras three total whatever deal with vedic sacrifices is called as shravata sutras vedic sacrifices shravata grihya sutras deal with domestic rituals okay then dharma sutra carries further steps of grihya sutra i will give you an example for example antyeshti uh, sorry atithi satkara is a dharma of a grahastha see for me grahastha it is atithi satkara for him i should uh, invite everybody now all these actually who are all listening from abroad i should invite you i should do satkara for you people as a grahastha of india now so like this the grahya sutras describes the ceremonies samskaras that mark each stage of an individual's life from the moment of conception to the final death rites grahya sutrakaras are many now we find different sutrakaras in different vedas for totally you know as per our with this one actually vyasa bhagavan he has given totally four vedas <coughs> that is as per yajur veda many sutrakaras will come to the picture manva sutra bharadwaja sutra vadhana sutra vaikhasana sutra maitra sutra or maitri sutra katha sutra varaha sutra apastamba sutra bodhayana sutra it is called bodhayaniya parastra sutra kathaka sutra hiranyakeshiya sutra so this bodhayaniya hiranyakeshiya almost it is one and same this one these sutras these are all will be pictured in yajurveda or they are all pictured in yajurveda rigveda if you find ashwalayana sutra sankhyayana sutra shaunaka sutra samaveda latyayana sutra drakshayana sutra midana sutra pushpa sutra and we in atharvana veda we find kaushika sutra these are all sutrakaras they have given their this one as per their veda actually depending upon that particular veda they have the based on the ultimately veda is the backbone for everything depending upon that particular veda they have given main sutras how it has to be everything they have sutra or rule it is called they have set everything it has to go like this it should be uh, like this all sutras they have given as per that nowadays actually lot of people they have written so many books about the samskaras even our purohits according to this particular this one nowadays they conduct the particular so all shodas samskara for a baby newly born now we find mainly two categories of samskaras how many samskaras are there brahma samskara second one daiva samskara brahma samskara daiva samskara now let me tell you which one i am going to tell you what exactly mean brahma samskara what has been told nishekadi smashananto that means garbhadana to antyeshti and various other upasamskaras in between that also if time permits let me spell out at least the name of that later from nishekadi garbhadana samskara to antyeshti in various smritis 
is called as Brahma Samskara. Then, whereas different yajnas like Paka Yajna, Havi Yajna, Somayaga, etc. are called as Daiva Samskara. See, it depends upon karma. You know this especially. Karma means runa, actually. Say, for example, runa, this Pitru runa, Daiva runa, Samaj runa, or society runa, whatever it is, this one actually. Then Guru runa, Thai runa, then mothers, everything. See, according to that, this is everything is set to this, under this one Brahma Samskara. So we have to satisfy our Pitrus by doing all these things. So mm -hmm. Yajna Valkya, like that his opinion is, when the fetus starts growing in the mother's womb, because of its past karma and stages of parental development, gets a lot of dirt. And even after it comes out of mother's womb, it will be impure. Daivajna astrologer will chart out the baby's horoscope kundali based on time of birth, date of birth, and place of birth. Whereas the baby comes to this earth with the background of its past karma and starts growing day by day accordingly. From the date of birth to death, good and bad karmas have to be experienced by the person according to his her past karma. That is 100% Shata Siddhanta. Nobody can escape in that. Even astrologer, he can't escape or uh, he, he uh, doesn't say that I can do miracle or whatever it is. No. So any person, whatever, maybe this one astrologer says he has to experience that karma, this one actually. Only something under that. Dhrada, adhrada, dhrada, dhrada karma. There are also three categories actually. We can minimize something. There is only thing as per astrology, as per our chart, horoscope. Now, karma is, as you know, classified as Sanjita karma, Prarabdha karma, Agami karma. Under that, again, three, Dhrada, Adhrada, Dhrada, Dhrada, whatever it is. I am not going to explain all those things. It is immaterial now. Anyway, Yajnavalkya says, because of providing good samskaras in various stages, lot of sins, Bad things, various dirt can be avoided. This is as good as coloring a picture. Just if you pencil, if you chart out one picture for looking, it won't be nice. Same thing if you with the different colors, if you color it for eye, this one actually it, is, it will become beautiful. <laughs> like our nature sceneries. Neatly molding a metal part. Refine and purify the gold from gold fields. See, we don't get that final, this one, that gold, this one metal anywhere. Is this in this gold field only? We have to refine it, then only we'll get it. So, like that, it is samskara. See, that history of samskara. If you dig about this one, actually, various, where all it is available, samskara, that particular, this one. How this our Sutrakaras, how our Rishimanis, they have created and summed up all this samskara at one, this one, actually, in one place. Let me speak about a little bit about it. See, Rigveda will find references about Karmangas, like Garbhadana, Mary, Antyeshti. You will find it in Rigveda. Yajurveda, Shrauta Yaga, we find many samskara karmangas. In Shrauta Yaga, many samskaras karmanga actually. Okay, all that mantra, mantra bhaga, everything actually, mantra, tantra, whatever it is, everything. You will find it. Gopatha Brahmana, Upanayana karmanga, there you will find it. Shatapatha Brahmana, we will find references about Brahmacharya in Shatapatha Brahmana. Usually Brahmacharya you will find after Upanayana till our Samavartana, that is our Brahmacharya. So earlier this one actually that Gurukula Dharma, anybody after this one uh, Upanayana, they leave their kids to uh, our kids in Gurukula. 
so they have to study from for, for example from birth this one after 8 years suppose upanayana means till 16th year actually 8 year they have to study at gurukula only that is actually brahmacharya vrata at that time so taitreya aranyaka lot of mantras about antyeshti karmanga there you will get it chandogya upanishad about gurukula system just yes, now what i said so all these actually we will find so many references about this one samskaras then next comes kalpa sutra what exactly kalpa sutra people talk about this one kalpa sutra our sutrakaras have summarized all the karmangas that is told in brahmana and it is called as kalpa sutra samskaras not limited or restricted to a particular yuga or kala or a particular place or a particular caste and creed it has taken birth in veda period grown up in different yugas see it has taken up in veda period that birth along with veda only this samskaras birth then grow grown up in different yugas pass on various stages from thousands of thousand years and stood up like a big tree what is this tree this tree never falls down it is immortal you know near bangalore this one actually big banyan tree is there almost 500 years old it is in the now guinness of book uh, record actually i think now this particular this one that banyan tree we are all happy so it is immortal like that it is it was there now it is it was there in uh, earlier it is no one so it is available it is going to be sustained for many more many more years strong stronger stronger so never it comes halt to summarize samyak krita and samyak karanam that is samskar how do we refine and purify the gold from gold fields i repeat how would you clean up the rice and other millets before using very important because at a time just you can we can't use this one rice or other things we have to clean up very important so like that it is how do you clean up the mirror from sea water sea water it contains salt from sea water you can refresh or this one actually you are clean up this mirror beautifully it will shine like that it is samskara for various giving of this one samskara karmas man will become purified and refined automatically so a lot of adhyatma analysts have given their thoughts by deep studying this samskara i will give you just one example for example mr monir williams you might have heard dr prabhakar of my guru he must have heard sanskrit and english dictionary in his this one book actually that is first edition was in 1846 and presently it is in 39th edition or might be even 40th edition he has given very good thought on samskara that is pulling together forming well making perfect accomplishment embellishment purification cleaning making ready dressing foot refining of metals polishing of gems training education and so on what is not there what not is there so like this he has given in one of this one sentence everything that is samskara now let us speak about this one totally 16 samskaras what are those today i told i requested my guru dr prabhakar that sir i can't explain even a single samskara today please give me an opportunity almost one month so every day or every month this one let me skip about or once in a year one or two samskaras let me start from garbhadana i told him because to speak about one samskara it takes two or three hours and vivaha upanayana antyashti all it is 24 hours minimum so now there are diverse number of samskaras in hinduism varying by text between 12 and 18 in the graksha sutras that is kalpa sutras 
or Kalpa Shastra. Of these, Sistik are referred to as Shodasha Samskara mainly. Now, ultimately, the Sistin has been picked up, this one. Then other Upanayana uh, Upasamskaras are many, another 15 to 16. I will spell about all those things later. Now, total of 16 Shodasha Samskaras, we can divide it under two heads. One is pre-birth. Pre-birth of a baby, that is totally three samskaras will give when that baby is in the mother's stom uh, stomach itself or womb itself. So there itself we sh should start refining the fetus. So there itself starts. You know, best example, for example, actually, you know, Subhadra, actually she was sleeping in Mahabharata. Subhadra was uh, sleeping. Krishna was telling the story of Kamsa. Then in the middle, actually, he was getting some hmm, 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 surprise. Where exactly this particular sound is coming? Suddenly he woke up. Oh, this particularly, this particular, this one actually sound is coming from Subhadra's boom, that baby, the what way it is go growing. Suddenly understood and he stopped because he knew that particular baby, what is going to come up with actually is this one. Not Subhadra, there is Uttare. Subhadra's sister-in-law, Uttare. That is Abhimanyu's wife. Okay, that is the reason. Anyway, now this one, this is a small, this one story. Post birth, post natal samskaras are 13, totally 16. Pre-birth 3, post-birth 13. Now pre-birth samskaras, prenatal sacraments that is called. One is Garbhadana. This Garbhadana, it is not Dana. It is not Dana. Garbha Adhana. That means somebody should keep something in somebody's, this one. Keeping of something in some place. That is Garbha Adhana, Iduvike. That is actually putting off something, putting up of something. So that is conception or we call it as Nisheka. This is also called as Garbha Lambha, Garbha Lambha or Reto Yajna. Beautiful Chandra, this one word actually. It is also one kind of Yajna for parents. So enjoyment, let us keep other part of this one, other side of the coin. Another side of the coin is, is actually reto yajna, it is retas. Then the nisheka, it is also called. And in our, this one, local, this one actually it is called as shobhana. People will say it is called prasta also. Okay. Now, present day, it is the present generation, it is called as first night for a newly wedded couple, also called as honeymoon or Madhu Chandra. What a beautiful wordings are there for this one Garbhadana. But Garbhadana is Samskara name. Shodasha Samskara or Veda name. Sutrakaras are name. Then differently this while growing, growing, they actually say all different, different names actually just come. Now, this Samskara is to get Sat Praja for mother nation, Motherland and parents. For parents also, Satpraja or a well character, uh, this one actually kid. And the nation should get Satpraja, Motherland should get Satpraja. Very important. There is the reason actually Garbhadana is so important. It is called as Samskara. Now, short picture, I'll give short picture. I'm not going to explain. Garbhadana also, it's a very detailed, this one. This particular ceremony is to clean up Kshetra's putta and Bija's putta. See, if that is the case, now I have to go to explain or I have to explain what exactly Kshetra's putta, what exactly Bija's putta, how we have to clean up. That is because of clean up in the sense actually because of various so, Homa Karmas and other things we should keep up, Vedic, Vedic mantra, everything. So, is to start from actually cleaning up of this one Chetras Putta and Bijas Putta and make both of them Shuddhi. 
See, there are four stages in this. In this Garbhadana also, there are four stages. Just I give you this one, name of that, this one. One is Yoni Kalpana. Yoni Kalpana, different mantras are there for that or end procedure. For that, Mahavishnu is the God. You know, he is the protector, Mahavishnu, for all this virtually birth everything, related to birth everything, Mahavishnu is the Karaka, because he is the protector ultimately. And the second one, Rupa Reshana. Okay, that is Deva Shilpi, that is Tvrashta, Tvrashta is the God. He is called Deva Shilpi. He has to give this one mould in womb, how it has to be, everything. How this baby is going to be later, after birth, everything. There is a actually Devi Shilpi, he will construct a mould for that. Then Retha Sejana. Prajapati is the God for Retha Sejana. Retha should go out. Where? In a particular place. Then that is Garbhadana. So Rethas go and stand up in that, this one actually place, that is Galbhadana, that particular, this one actually, at that time, it is called, we say that's our conception. So Dhata is the God for Garbhadana. So here, Yonikalpana, Ruparashana, Rethas Sejana, Garbhadana, these four steps. So only I'm going to, I can explain only this much for Garbhadana, Later, even still, I'm not going to explain anything about that. Only I'll give you spell up about this already. 45 minutes now. Now, Pumsavana. Next one. That is fetus production. Quicken a male child. See, why this male child? Today, just I was uh, going through one, this one particular. Why if this one female babies or females or lady, they should not do any this one, Shraddha Karma for Pitru this one. In Vivaha Karma itself actually, mantras are there, Vivaha Mantra actually, later stage we will take out. There, two, uh, this one, uh, what you call, all my this one earlier, whatever this were, sins, papa, everything actually, because of what I am doing this one actually, uh, Vivaha karma of my daughter. What this one actually? Uh, this one actually girl. I'm uh, this one. I'm giving it to particular man. That is Vishnu and Lakshmi Sarupa. From this today itself, actually everything. This one karma is over for that uh, girl. So that is the reason actually. Females they are not actually in this particular this one here particularly. That is the reason. Quicker the male child. Why this one? Purnamno Trayate Iti Putraha Smriti Puran Smriti. So Purnamno Trayate Iti Putraha. That means Purna or Purnam. It is one kind of Papa. From there, these parents they are going to be lifted up by a male child. Okay, from Putra. That is Putraha. So embryo state in human beings it takes eight weeks after conception. Adequate folic acid is important for the development of fetus or developing fetus. This samskara is to secure the birth of a child to ask for a male child especially. That is Pumsavana. Then we mother womb, what we are doing that particular samskara, pre-birth samskara, this is second one. Third one, Simantonayana, parting the hair. This is Aldo. Almost seven months, eight months, this one actually, that uh, this one, Garbhini, to that Garbhini, what we are doing, Samskara is called Simanton Nayana. That is different, different procedure, various procedures are there. Okay, so we'll take up that explanation later. Then, post birth Samskaras, Jata Karma, that means immediately once this one actually baby takes birth. Once a baby comes out of mother's stomach, immediately within 10 minutes or 15 minutes, this jata karma should be done there itself. But nowadays, very uh, whether it is possible, so so many samskaras, so many this one changes nowadays we have to do. 
because these are all nowadays everything earlier actually people used to ask whether oh, is it cesarean now cesarean is normal normal deli delivery is strange that it has become now situation that means in hospital we have to do this jata karma will there allow hospital people no nowhere in no this one uh, houses nowadays this normal delivery will not be there you don't find anywhere this one everything hospital so this jata karma where exactly whether it is possible nowadays father has to do with the, along with this purohit is very difficult nama karanas this is second one after post birth samskara ceremony for naming the child 11th day you need not search or you need not look you need not put any muhurta for this if you celebrate namakarana on 11th day like that various this one you need not for example various yaga yajna to conduct you have to look for uh, this one <clears throat> what you call uh, agnivala that is that is strength of fire that fire should be in earth, on earth that particular day that is uh, various uh, this one calculation will be there how to find out simply we can't do homa havana yajna without any this one looking whether agnivala is not there or not we can't no because only on earth, earth it is called mratya agni swarga agni it is not good patal agni it is not good mratya agni should be good so like that but in other days for example ganesha festival day if you conduct this uh, ganapati homa ganapati havana you need not look for any other muhurta it is that particular day belongs to ganesha only you need not search for any muhurta or tharavala uh, uh, for parent i mean uh, yajamana or agnivala you need not like that this namakarana ceremony i prefer i advise people or parents to do on 11th day it is most ideal and most this one actually good this one then the later part we suppose you are doing we are doing namakarana means we have to look for tarabala for parents yajamana everything and other good days and for uh, kids also baby also then third one uparishkramana that is first outing of baby now where is in this generation where is the first outcoming of baby practically it is not possible because baby takes birth in hospital from after three or four days from hospital to house baby is coming there itself it is first outing is over according to me where the exactly it is first outing am i correct burgle yes so very see what are so many i think this karmanga saso chota sa samskara our uh, guru like dr sir prabhakar they have to change it accordingly little bit and they have to write a big book on that what a present day application it should be the first outing as a first time leaving the home after birth okay before namakarana itself it's over actually this karma after namakarana then annaprasana first feeding of solid food solid food means usually rice okay in our this one rice is everything that means what we eat everything it will be called as food or rice it will be called as food or rice this annaprasana also i can speak about minimum of 2 or 3 hours that much that much it is there in that so about this food we have to explain everything then the fifth one is chuda karana that is farming the crest first time the child's hair cutting okay that is what you call as chaula also in lot more many places chaula that is chuda karana then karana vedana it is called karana chedana also you are doing chedana or making hole of your ears so first time the child's hair i mean ear piercing makes the traditional piercing of the ear lobes 
This is also called as Karna Chedana, what I said. Then Vidyarambha. Vidyarambha. This is again very, 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 very important. Aksharabhyasa. This particular Aksharabhyasa, if you carry out on this Navaratri Vidya Dashmi day, you need not look for any muhurta or anything else. But if you do some other day, then all Tarabala, Chandrabala and other balas you have to see along with Purohit. And I request everybody, people nowadays say this a lot of uh, uh, Daivajnas or uh, uh, this one astrologers or Purohit say, Sir, you go to some other temple and do it. Go to Shringeri, go to Kollur. But I request everybody, all these samskaras, all these karmangas, all these yajna yaga, if you perform, if you conduct in home, that is thousands, thousands time better it is. Because your house will be appreciated. Your house, that this one, what you call, that uh, a percentage of power, that percentage of energy will improve. Why you have to go outside? Because your God is there for you only. Your house God is there for you only. Same Shiva, maybe even the public temple will be there. Society temple will be there. Or uh, uh, Kashi will be there. Whatever this one, that is for full Samaja, whole of the world. He has to look after. But my Shiva, my house Shiva, it is for me. How this energetic point? Nowadays people will not understand. Without any homely puja, they go out to temple. Yeah, today I went to temple yara morning. What nonsense it is! I don't know. I can't understand. Here, upavasa for their own gods, home god. They are going outside for temple. I don't say we should not go to temple or wherever. We have to go. That is samadha seva or samadha sitvan. It is good, no doubt. But you. Create positive energy in home first, then later other things. So like that anyway, this Vidyarambha better in home and this one you need not look or some other day you have to see everything on this one. Anyway, I requested our uh, Guru also, this uh, Panchanga I can take up for this one actually, minimum for this one actually some month together about Panchanga, I can explain. And about Muhurta, I can do minimum three months. Murta explanation. Shoda Sasamskar, it takes six months, neatly. So that much it is that this one totally uh, samskaras, muhurtas, panchanga. How many people they know how to read exactly about this panchanga? So many code words will be there in that. Who is going to explain all those things? Just pancha anga. Varatitena chatra yoga karana, if you are able to see, that is not enough. So many. It is Bhagavad Gita. Panchanga itself is a big Bhagavad Gita. We have to learn all those things. Then, next to this one actually, Vidyarambha, Upanayana, Abba. It is Hebbagileo for to learn uh, Vidya. See, Shankaracharya actually, after uh, three years actually, they have done it. He is Avatara Purusha, Shiva Avatara Shankaracharya. Usually common people like actually all of us actually from uh, Garbha, this one conception actually from that period after seven years, that means eighth year, people will do, lot of people, up to 12, 13. After 13, 14 or if you do this one actually, you know, in a, simply say 13 ceremony, you can do or you can uh, ask your uh, son or this one to wear any kind of this one actually threat. I don't say, it, it, it won't be much this one actually. Okay, so better early stage, Upanayana Samskara, that is initiation, sacred ceremony. From that actually time, this one kid starts going to this one, Gurukula. Gurukula, he should not this one. There is no shave, nothing, no mirror in Gurukula. That way he has to study, he has to do seva of Guru and Guru Patni and others. Like way this one, Guru one day he will give his Ashirvada, yes. Everything goes okay. Now you are full learned. You can prepare for your Samavartana. That was the, this one actually earlier stage. We can explain later. If uh, my guru permits, 
ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ದಿಸ್ ಉಪನಾಯನ ನನ್ನ ವೇದಾರಂಭ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರೆಡ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಗುರುಕುಲ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಶಾಂತ ಕೇಶಾಂತ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಟು ಅಡಲ್ಟ್ಹುಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶೇವ್ then actually this particular this one after 16 years he has realized oh i am a major this one becoming major now after, of course after 18 years now but 16 years shodasha for girl shodashi very important this like that for female actually it is called ritu shuddhi but even ritu shuddhi earlier stage itself they do nowadays actually this one uh, for this one ladies after 10 years 11 years 12 years whatever this ritu shuddhi people will do that is also it is like this one this particular same this one actually samskar samavartana nowadays people will say oh my boy is there in america i have to attend his graduation ceremony what is this graduation ceremony it was there in veda kala this one it is called as samavartana beautiful name graduation ceremony from formal education that is samavartana everything it is there we are not taking anything this one astonas this one other than india they have to feed us then only we will learn otherwise we will never learn you ask any one single uh, indian this one what is samavartana we don't know we don't know we don't know what is this one actually graduation ceremony everybody they know about this so like this is what is actually next vivaha denotes marriage it is a great 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 this one there are so many types of marriages this that everything okay brahma vivaha rakshasa vivaha all so many things actually brahmana vivaha so many things uh, let us start about this one later i can't because already 57 minutes over antyeshti that is funeral again so many types of shraddhas are there antyeshti for antyeshti the particular as of earlier itself particular man will not be there and at the time of so this one actually garbhadana also it will not be picture in middle actually this one that the deha atma actually so to this one actually particular this one uh, find out this one atma for deha should be there for deha what you are doing now this one that is burning of this one actually body and what this one all other ritual things what you are doing for atma very important that antyeshti antyeshti also it's a big this one okay now this already guru how many more minutes i have to take 20 another 20 beautiful another 20 minutes now this 16 samskaras just i have named now that is birds i view i have given the picture about this one sutra karas kalpa sutras how many types of samskaras everything so many things think what exactly samskara meaning of samskara samskara everything okay now so many like this upa samskara in the middle of this in the middle of this upa samskaras are many under this in between this samskaras so many things we can do that is still for refinement and to make more and more shine of the ba- of a baby and another thing i'll tell you just to think of it all these samskaras vivaha till vivaha in earlier veda period or even earlier stages this one almost 24 25 years gets over or within 20 year 21st year it gets over everything then few little upasamskaras from 20 to 100 suppose if he live, lives till 100 antyashti it comes after this one that is gap of almost 70 80 year from 15th samskara to 16th samskara imagine this is very important nowhere it is told nowhere it is told this only is my study guru gray this one especially dear guru ji my study 20th year suppose even earlier stages vivaha is over 
he is a very busy involving giving samskara to his kids till his death see how beautifully this cycle is actually constructed or molded up in our veda beautifully from 20th year because now he is enjoying with wife family house in home own field actually he starts enjoying with all this where is this time he is to get or to do all these samskaras he has to now undertake all these samskaras for his own kids and actually kids kid kids so that way it is actually that is what punarapi maranam punarapi jananam puranapi jananam puranapi mata all this cycle is beautiful anyway love this more have had about this upasamskaras the same sutrakaras also said about several upasamskara that is sub under or in between shodasha samskaras see this is also cultivated or molded up within that purview only it is not the outside the samskara please don't take it it is within the purview of this one actually one is usually for ladies three horoscopes or kundali may be prepared for females that is after immediate birth based on time of birth place of birth date of birth that is one horoscope it is lifelong then the second horoscope after her first menstruation menstruation after this one first menstruation actually second horoscope third one after the marriage because marriage you know this one actually gotra gotra will be cut from parents gotra she will be moved into husband's gotra no way she will she will raise of course parents daughter correct but entirely it is changed over there actually this one the same our sutrakara said one more jataka one more horoscope one more kundali has to be prepared at that time so there are three this one kundali is for ladies then second one bhuvaneshwari shanti this is dosha parihara shanti after first menstruation because usually ladies actually lot of this one that actually this one actually they suffer after especially that baby after first this thing so to eradicate all this it's a parihara type shanti that is called bhuvaneshwari shanti that is also one of the upasamskara second one and anavalobhana shanti okay this anavalobhana shanti to avoid miscarriage after once it becomes this one to avoid miscarriage who will do nowadays nobody will do i don't know whether purohits they do my uncle is there uh, my guruji he knows my uncle is there he has written very good book in that everything he has told he has written the procedure the way how we have to carry all those things it is there okay it is called shanti tarangini and ruddhi karma deepavali these two books very valuable books almost uh, uh, 7 to 8 thousand books it is uh, sold out now he is not there of course third one uh, i mean fourth one is sarpavalli see in the case by mistake miscarriage after uh, this one actually pregnant to protect further miscarriages and to Uh, clean up this one actually that garbha womb mother's womb this sarpavali samskara should be done okay so i'll explain just little little next is hari vamsha shravana vidhi hari vamsha shravana vidhi in mahabharata also uttara mahabharata you will find it this particular this one in case in case ladies they are not able to uh, take garbha after marriage after one one year two years three years four years nowadays doctors are there of course people will believe doctors are god nowadays yes of course 
somebody should say. But here this particular Hari Vamsa Shravana Vidhi, this particular, this one, whatever dosha is there, to avoid that, to get pregnancy, this particular, this one Vidhi is important. It's also kind of Shanti, Homa. Then next is, sixth one is Vishnu Mali. Once this one gets a pregnant, woman gets pregnant to protect the womb, to protect that Garbha, this Vishnu Bali. You know Vishnu is, I said, it's a protector. That is the reason Vishnu Bali has to be this one. This is one more Upa Samskara. Then, seventh one, Shashti Puja. This is after the birth. Suppose that baby not so active or any problem is there, this baby or whatever it is that to protect after this one actually delivery, to protect that particular baby, this one, uh, Shasti Puja has to be conducted after five or six days of the birth. It is one kind of Balarishta Puja. You know this Balarishta actually. Okay. So that is actually one of the method and upasamskara. Then this one, andolana ropana. First time actually this one cradle. Okay, you are putting that particular baby in cradle. This actually this particular this one eleventh day itself people will do lot of people. If not this first time what you are putting this also. Then dolar opana. This also, you know, dollar opana. This also one of this one actually. Next is Nava Kunjaka Dharana. Nava Kunjaka Dharana actually, new clothes for a baby. That's also one of the Upasamskar. That particular day, everything again, Tarabala, everything should be seen in that. Then Dukdha Parana. Next one. Suppose in case a mother is not able to feed much for the baby or baby is not happy with only mother's this one actually feeding then outside milk food uh, milk this one actually i mean uh, cow's milk we have to give for that also first time of while giving this cow milk this particular puja or shanti you have to do and that dugdhapana celebration has to be conducted this is also one of the upasamskar then Next is twelfth is Jala Puja. First time actually after delivery, after eleventh actually months, after eleventh months, this Ganga Puja has to be done. So that the baby has to be taken over to carry that Ganga Puja on earth. Usually in our place actually, coastal Karnataka, we celebrate Ganga Puja every year. Recently, I think 10 days back, it's over Ganga Puja. We, you know, we do our Kalpa Raksha, that is coconut tree, Kalpa Raksha nearby that we do Ganga, uh, this one, Ganga Puja, this one, that is Bhumi Puja. Bhumi Puja we do near the, our Kalpa Raksha, that is coconut tree. This is also one of the uh, Upasamskara. Then, Bhumyopaveshana. First time actually baby has to be laid down on earth, vacant earth, this one. This is also very important. Nowadays where? Everywhere, quad, quad, quad. Nobody will sleep on earth. Who will sleep? It's all good, this one actually. Tiles or vetrifies or uh, uh, other this one, metals, whatever it is. Nobody will, nowadays. On earth, nobody will sleep. This also, because it's a mother earth, very important. Then, Jeevita Pariksha. This also for baby, we should conduct. First time, we have to give in front of the baby, once a baby grown up after one year, in front of that baby, we have to give a lot of things, say pen, books, they are this one actually metal parts, or engineering this thing. Nowadays, for example, this one mobile, computer, everything. So many. First time which one it touches that baby. 
we can find out. Oh, she has got interest in that particular this one. She will grow up in that particular nature. So that is the one actually. So all these upasamskara say, I told 15 upasamskara that some more are there. Let us speak about later. Anyway, in the final stage, actually, various janata shanti also, it is told now. So I told you from 20th year to 100 years, what is not there, it is there. It is also coming under Upasamskara. That is Ugrarata Shanti, Shastyabdhi, 60th year. 60th year, actually, we have to search for a day or date, day or date or tithi, same particular samvatsara, particular this one ayana, particular this one rutu, particular this one actually masa, particular mas, uh, this one uh, tithi, vara, everything should join. At least out of seven, eight, at least fajo if you get, it is well and good. Same day this particular shastabdhi has to be done. Shastabdhi, Shasti Purti, different. After 60 years, what you are going to do, that is Shasti Purti, Purti, completion of 60 years. Shasti Abdi means after 50, completion of 59th year, and you are stepping towards 60th year that you have to do. Oh, my 60, that is one cycle because it is 60 Samatsaras, Prabhava, Vibhava. So, 60 Samatsaras. So we are completing one cycle for that. That is what this one, according to our Parashari, Parashastra, there are two cycles for a particular person, 120 years, as per this one, Navagrahas, Dasha Bhakti period. So that is two cycle means 60 plus 60 will live nowadays. Exam 80, 85, that's it. But here, uh, our Guru was, same Bangalore here near Jayanagar actually, Chaturvedi. Dr. Chaturvedi was there, he has lived 124 years. He has crossed even to the cycle of Samasaras. Chaturvedi, our Guru knows. So, this is Shatyabdi after 60 years here. Then the Bhimaratha Shanti, that is 70 years, what you are going to do? That is Sahasra Chandra Darshana Shanti, 81 years something it comes. 100 moon, 100 that is. Purnima moon, you have to say. That is Sahasra Chandra Darshana and Shatabdi. All this you have to carry. You have to celebrate. But one thing, nobody will celebrate for themselves. This our sons, kids and next generation, they have to do for betterment of their parents. Nowadays people, they don't see all that actually Muhurta or Panchanga. Oh, Sunday is better so that we can invite lot of people with uh, so many this thing we can celebrate. Nobody will see Tarankula, Panchanga, nothing actually. Who will see all those things? Totally they need Sunday only. Because a lot of people, gatherings we can. That is the reason. So, like that to so many even Shanti Karmas also are there. That is Janana Shanti, what I said this one also is. One is that Gomukha Prasava Shanti. Krishna, Krishna Paksha Chaturdashi Amavasya. First, actually, you have to start calculating this one. This is Krishna Paksha Chaturdashi. Also, it is not good for a birth. If anybody takes birth in that day, we have to do Shanti Karma, Koma Karma. Sini Vali, Kuhu Janana. That is Amavasya 96, Shraddha. Again, in that it is actually. Then Mula Nakshatra, Ashraya Nakshatra, Jeshta, Chitta. Pushya, Purvashada, Makha, Revati, Ashwini. All these nakshatras, anybody takes birth. We have to do Shanti Karma. It's not so auspicious, good. Then Vyati Pata Yoga, Vaidhati Yoga. In these yogas, anybody takes birth. We have to do Shanti Karma. This all Upakarmas. In one of this one, nobody will, uh, you can't read actually in one book. How summarized everything actually? Final, I have not even myself, I have not made it. If I make this one, it will be almost 500 pages. Give it for print. Then, Surya Sankranti Janana Shanti. Grahana Janana Shanti, Grahana time. Birth is not advisable. 
whether it is solar or lunar, whatever it is. Nakshatra Gandanta, Tithi Gandanta, Tithi end period, Gandanta means end. Nakshatra, that is star end period. If anybody takes birth, it is also not good. You have to do Shanti Karma. Avali, twins. If twins takes birth, then you have to do Shanti. Triplets, you have to do Shanti. Everything it has been told. That is triplets means Trika Prasava Shanti. Three at a time. Whether it is three males or three females. Okay. Or four sometimes. It is all very, very rare, but still it is there. We have to do Shanti. Then Sadanta Janana Shanti. At the time of birth itself, that baby, if she or he gets uh, teeth, with the teeth actually, baby gets birth. Nothing but Rakshasa. We have to do. This one actually, Janana Shanti for that. It is not good. But it is a very rare case. Very, very, very rare case, but it is there. For that, everything it has been written, how we have to do. Prasava Vaikutya Shanti. Next. Next, Darsha Janana Shanti, Vishakhati Janana Shanti, Adomukha Janana Shanti, Adomukha. Udomukha Shanti is not good again. Yamala Janana Shanti, Bhadra Janana Shanti. All this actually we have to do so many Shanti Karmas, this one. So, Anyway, I am completing this almost, it is a one hour, 15 minutes. What Guru has given me time. I have given you just the bird's eye view about this. To explain this one, I may take more and more, more and more time, which is not enough, this one. So individually, we have to take up all these things. So let us meet again and again. Let us talk about let us disturb about this one again and again. Only permission, Ashirvada, I require from my Guru because I like him the most. So his permission is required. Anyway, I say once again, thanks to everybody to hear my this one voice in this precious time. Thanks to all. Let us see again. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskara Guru. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Bhatti is a fund of knowledge. And also knowledge with explanation, wisdom, and also convincing way. And we observe that our rushis are so meticulous that human birth and life journey not easy and it requires a lot of samskara and a lot of uh, celebration and in order to make that particular jiva to get on into higher spiritual life too and also stop the janma also because once when they get into the stream of water janana marana pravaha rupa nidjari so is janana marana pravaha nidjari our bypass marbeku andre we have to do so much but uh, anyway, the, the Rishis have taken immense care to dissect the calendar of the life of beings, Panchangam. And uh, if you touch Panchangam, it's also... So like that, we understand I don't have much comments to make, except say, we are, our life is complex. Our deeds are complex. But we have to pay attention to the samskara system which has been introduced to us by our uh, ancient ancients in our going under the name of the Sanatana Dharma. Nobody can challenge it, nobody can do it, uh, because they, uh, everything is highly scientific. So he has been telling that from uh, Garbhadhana and going on and on and on up to uh, Nisheka and, and, and also Anchesti. So even when we see the Kavyas being written, Ramayana, Mahabharata and all that, everybody has talked about the Antiesti. Also, Sugriva, the Vali's Antiesti took place, 
Ravana's Vantiyashti took place, but when Vibhishna was refusing to perform any samskara, anti samskara to his brother, then Rama said, no, he's a Sanatana Dharma promoter, promulgator. He said, no, marana antane vairani. So whatever vairam you have got, it is only dense by the death. And you have to be, you have to do the samskara. So this is what. And another point is, anatha preta samskare shata koti yajna phalam bhavit. So like that, people have seen that uh, there must be samskara attended to the beings born in the world. And moreover, we have noted our but just mentioning, showing our the gateways through which we are able to get more and more knowledge and betterment. That's what I said, the grahagalu, all these grahas are in subhasthanas and also asubhasthanas. So we have to do the samskaras and mantras and all that in order to make the grahas to become anukula. They, they are pratikulas are also there. You observe, no, no graha looks the other graha. The, the navagraha system, uh, they, uh, they have got their own directions to look at, look to look upon. So I'm not my much comments, but anyway, I just thank uh, our Gajanan Bhatt. I have been waiting or we have been waiting for his talk. Every time he's a, such a busy chartered accountant cut, looking after the, uh, the tax returns to wait for so many. So he only took November to be a little free day and we caught him and uh, we again get, so he has been offering to have courses on all these things, slowly monthly ones or fortnightly ones or so we have had in fact, our Uppan Nagarajan in our Vedanada, Nada Veda group, every day he is putting Panchangam. Many people depend upon that Panchangam and keep going on with the days. And this today he has put one wonderful thing wherein we can open it up and find the day and all details of the Panchangam. Because Panchangam is very important and the Muhurtam is important and we cannot. In fact, I remember, uh, not to speak much, my guru, uh, Gunjur Narayan Shastri, he's a Sukhanadi and also astrologer, Purohit, very busy, Chamraj Pet. And he, along with his another assistant, both of them came with Sukhanadi Grantha in his hand in, Thir in the Tiruchanur. And uh, actually, the printed Murtam was different in the horoscope and a little difference. So when time came, the Siddhanti there said, Sir Mangali Dharana, let us go on. Then he said, no, no, Sukamaharshi we consult. Immediately he said, he took to Sukamaharshi and consulted him and accordingly. So to say, why I'm telling is that Muhurta is a very important critical time. When it is done appropriately just at that time, then it will have better and prosperous and promotive influence benefits. Therefore, as our, uh, I too don't know, because I, when uh, Bhatt is talking, I remember some of the talk and samskaras which we have gone, gone through when we were by our parents, grandparents, and also elderly people, because we have crossed the 80 and going on further. So we have seen, but imagine our own brothers and other elderly people, they must be also, for example, to take the baby out from the house. That's also a muhurtam to be seen and very important because you cannot expose the baby outside. And also, uh, but has forgotten, Surya Darsana also is important. Surya Avalokan Shanti. So even to allow the baby to look at the sun is also an important event. So right from the time the baby is out from the mother's womb up to some time there is a lot of precaution being described and uh, mantras are there and all that so today we are it's a kind of eye opener for many people it is not just but in the hospital take take home and do all these things there is so much about it and so you see in fact we are very much uh, surprised that the garbhadhana and to ability to bear and dosha pariharas 
and it was all very much uh, critical and meticulous, but nobody would follow all these things. We depend upon Paramatma to take care of all these uh, uh, intersecting, dissecting points, because if you just think of that, we cannot put our step outside. If at all anybody wants to follow Vastu Shastram, we cannot build anything at all in the world. So the impulse Yatha Shakti, Yatha Desham, Yatha Kalam, Yatha Nukulam, etc. also is being given to us. So thanks to our Bhatt who has given so much information and he said it's a bird's eye view, but we can have to, we have to go through this. And in fact, he has been teaching all these things uh, uh, in uh, Ragi Gudda temple every now and then uh, in that particular uh, um, institute which is started by our uh, Ramu and who is and it's again an offshoot of our Vedat Jana Kendra astrology section. So with these few remarks, I request Dr. Jayanti from Delhi University, professor in philosophy and all that. And in philosophy also people read about samskaras to make her observations on this talk. Welcome, Dr. Jayanti Sahu. Pranam, sir. Pranam, madam. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear. Sir, I have very little knowledge. I just, I must congratulate Professor Raleigh and I must congratulate you to give me a chance to listen to all sanskaras which plays a very vital role. And uh, uh, the speaker, I must congratulate because speaking about sanskaras is very difficult. And uh, as you said, and one sanskara needs so much of time to understand the deepness of the, uh, uh, the sanskaras. And he has extensively has given so much of knowledge and I just don't know where to start. And he has spoken about the uh, as I put, because my training is in philosophy. So he has already covered the metaphysical explanation of the self. Also, though he has given the epistemological, logical and ethical explanation and very beautifully related to this thing, to the karma theory and also dharma theory. And uh, because the contemporary world, we have very little knowledge about these practices. Uh, somewhere it, uh, it has missed and uh, that is why there are many problems are coming and when we see that uh, philosophically basically we look at uh, sanskaras then we generally see that this is a kind of rita uh, 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 and uh, kind of dharma and uh, the, a kind of discipline which teaches us uh, from the Garvadhana to the Antesti because the birth to death and uh, all the philosophical schools, they talk about, uh, in fact, uh, the sanskaras, whether it is Buddhism, Jainism and Hinduism. And there we find uh, sanskara is uh, sometimes helps us to transcend the egos also, though very subjective because we the practices are very subjective. But then there is a kind of, uh, when we practice all the rituals, we invite the people to join us. So there is an acceptance for others also. And uh, social unity, we talk about the not only the individual existence, but the social existence is uh, important. And he has very rightly, he has uh, given so extensive, I cannot, uh, he has mentioned Yagya Valkya, then all Sutrakaras, and uh, all uh, Jnana Santi and so many things he has covered and uh, I don't have, I have a very little knowledge about the sanskar and in fact no knowledge at all, I must admit that. And listening to him is a kind of great thing and I must congratulate because I believe that uh, speaking about all these things is very difficult because all these are experiential learning and when you impart this kind of knowledge to the others and uh, when others are not able to receive it and uh, the speaker must have a kind of pain within. Uh, so I, I believe that kind of uh, thing is there within spiritualism. So uh, I must, uh, so uh, 
philosophically speaking, and it is also uh, helps us to control our emotions. And uh, there is a continuity, and it gives a new meaning to our life also. And very logically and rationally, all the sanskaras are interrelated. Starting from it also speaks about the various kinds of ashramas, which we started with brahmacharya, and it ends with the sannyas. So that is also there within the sanskaras. And the purusartha theory is already he has spoken about the how dharma, artha, kama, and uh, moksha are uh, being the important part of all the sanskaras. And uh, this is a philosophical, uh, this provides a philosophical analysis and uh, to understand all our sanskaras in a better way and uh, to lead a kind of uh, uh, coexistence and uh, uh, assimilating other ideas and differentiating also, as he very rightly points out that our Indian tradition is very much different from the Western philosophical traditions and uh, and their follow up regarding the sanskaras. And Indian mind is something which is unique. And when we talk about uh, something, whether it is sanskar or spiritualism, we generally, though it is a subjectivism is very much strong there, but uh, objectivism or the Vasudeva Kutumbaka. So we start with the kind of uh, individual uh, achievement and then we float these things to the universal achievement. And that is how the significance of the spiritualism of India. So I don't have to say much because I have a very little knowledge. I am so thankful, Professor Alek and uh, uh, I really would like to listen to further about the each sanskaras because uh, I have a very little knowledge. And I believe on this theory because uh, uh, the two things I believe here that one is faith and second thing is that experience. And that makes your sanskaras very strong and healthy and uh, the, uh, better for others. And thank you, Professor Prabhakar, and giving me always a chance to share my ideas and thank you so much everybody the learned scholars and thank you so much thank you madam <clears throat> so the another outlook of uh, our samskaras has been provided by our dr jayanti and uh, see how we view and they are very important and uh, that i think if uh, there is a rama devi I don't know whether she is there or not. But anyway, she was also to make some comments because she is also familiar with astrology. And now I will just ask Gopinath if he is there to just to thank and comment. He is also a student of astrology. Gopinath. Namaste. Thank you, Dr. Actually, Gajanan Matsar has given a very nice talk on uh, uh, Sanskara. Uh, it's uh, very uh, you know, uh, inspiring and enlightening as uh, so much uh, thing is there in that Sanskara within a uh, bird eye view. Uh, that Sanskara combined with the remedy of astrology, I can see that, you know. Uh, uh, starting from uh, prenatal uh, sanskara and after uh, birth 13 sanskara the upanayana starting from upanayana what the ma'am jayanti ma'am said that that actually shown that the nitya karma it includes the our um, uh, eradicating of karma uh, the as guru uh, prabhakar kalyam said you know uh, cycle of birth, uh, escaping the cycle of birth, or uh, even it gives you along with that knowledge and uh, improve our Medha Shakti, the, the karma which is contains uh, Sanchita and Prarabdha, it's, it convert as a, if we have a takeover, we can take over the uh, karma as a, as a opportunity. As uh, somebody said, poor mind see as a problem, as a problem, something, it's all dull. 
the uh, middle and strong mind will see as that is a it can be soluble strongest men make it as a opportunity this as they designed the karma sanskara such a way our our meda and our uh, uh, brilliancy will get improve uh, each and every event even uh, the upa karma what uh, guruji said I, I i i haven't even heard about that Uh, that the first time i am uh, even listening to that upa samskara so many things are there i am very thankful to be you now uh, hearing this lecture and thank you so much for uh, gajanan uh, but sir and giving a opportunity for uh, to listen to this and uh, uh, giving a vote of thanks and all uh, for uh, prabhakar kalyam sir and jayanti ma'am Uh, and uh, so, so i she gave a very logical uh, and uh, the beautiful way of uh, presentation also she mentioned that actually it is there uh, completely it is there the uh, see very simple and uh, sim uh, uh, complicated thing they presented very simply mm -hmm. simply actually even we i can't pronounce the so many words which is mentioned in the sanskrit first time while i am uh, hearing that so i'm very i'm very very glad and very thankful to prabhakar sir and uh, gajanan sir and jayanti ma'am thank you so much sir. thank you mr gopina thank you sir. and uh, shanti mantram shivalingaya sir i just want to have a query from professor alek but i can get the answer later on maybe I just uh, because uh, in philosophy you do believe in some kind of analysis, but when we do a kind of sanskaras, is it possible to have a kind of analysis? And if certain things needs to be changed, can we do that within the sanskar, or or, or it doesn't allow that uh, thing to do any kind of change? Uh, maybe later on I'll because so many. So, yeah that's, that's a, a philosophy because yeah that's a good question madam did go good question but thing is actually we don't have right to change our veda we can't change our veda is the ultimate we can't bring any new addition or new things to our veda it is not possible only thing is as a vimarshaka we can do something if according to particular situation this can be changed like this this can be changed like this this can be changed like this only that much we can write it we can't change that sanskara it should be now it should be like this no we don't have right to do we don't have right to change vedas or rishimanis so ultimate they are the ultimate is veda and rishimanis are the ultimate sutrakaras are the ultimate definitely only some vimarsha we can do we can write it while writing this one it can in our own language while writing this one actually or putting up this words about this one actually we can have some of this one for present this one how it can be changed we can give just one sentence or two sentences that much as we must okay thank you so all our vedic knowledge thank is sealed you, book <coughs> as you know it's really important so thank you very much but we have, have electrified the minds and said samskara is a very big subject and that has been very well treated by our rishis at all times and uh, so knowledge and practice so knowledge is one thing that is philosophy and practice is the religion so to possible extent one has to practice and there are benefits as we take to practice or experience all that so thank you very much we have beautiful talk today and uh, shanti mantram who is there What about that? Uh, ah, yes. Krishna ya vasudeva ya pariye paramatmane pranatakleshana shaya govinda ya naman namah Krishna ya yadavendra ya anavakta ya jatami. ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 
ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತ ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸರ್ವೇ ಬಂತು ಸುಖಿ ಸರ್ವೇ ಸಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭದ್ರಾ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಮಾರ್ಕಿ ದುಃಖ ಭಾಗ್ ಭೇತ್ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸುದೇವಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ವೇದಪುರುಷಾಶೀರ್ವಾಧೋಸ್ತು ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾತೃಚರಣಾರವಿಂದಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್